Industry Minister Ed Husig made it clear today that he does not approve of what the Israeli government is doing in revenge for what Hamas did to the Israeli people a couple of weeks ago. Roll the tape. I feel very strongly that uh, Palestinians are being collectively punished here for Hamas's barbarism. I really do feel that uh, the, uh, there is an obligation on governments, particularly the Israeli government, to, as we have said, follow the rules of international law uh, and to observe, in particular, uh, that innocence should be protected. All right, bring everyone up, because there's plenty of people to say, uh, lots of things in the next five <laughs> minutes or so. So let's get to James McGrath, Richo, Nicholas Reese, Michael Kroger. Michael, we'll start with you. And remember, every second you speak, you're taking off somebody else. So it's up to you. Um, what did you think of what you heard today from the industry well, minister? Well, as long as I don't take up the time of James McGrath, but... Uh, uh, you might be. That's well, the thing. You never know. In, That's why we've got to keep it pithy. He spoke in... Both uh, he and Ali spoke in code today, and I've been waiting all day for Albo or the opposition or someone in the media to work out what his coded language was, which no-one has worked out yet. So the term he used of collective punishment um, is a war crime under the Geneva Convention. So he is the first, unless Richo can correct me, he is the first minister in, and, and, and at Ali too, um, uh, Anne Ali. They are the first two ministers in Australian political history to accuse Israel of war crimes, unless I'm, unless I'm mistaken. No, I think you're right. And Albanese, needs to, and Albanese needs to condemn these two because what Israel are doing are uh, defending their country from the slaughterous barbarians that are that are Hamas. And apart from accusing the, Israel, the Israelis of war crimes, the other thing that needs to be said is, why is the world's media giving equal attention and weight to what Hamas says about the bombing of the, the car park as to what Israel says? As if there's some sort of equivalent between this, this low human scum that is Hamas, who are down there with Idi Amin and Pol Pot, um, and, and, you know, in the post-Hitler era, uh, these are the ISIS, uh, the Al-Qaeda of, of the, you know, 2023. Uh, yet, yet, of course, when it comes to the press, well, we have to listen to what they say. I mean, why, why do you give any weight whatsoever to what this human scum says? I wouldn't believe a word of what Hamas says about the bombing, about, about the number of people killed or anything. So um, these are the people to blame, Mr. Husek and Ms. Ali, uh, not Israel. And Albanese needs to bring you two to a account and disassociate himself from your criticism that Israel are involved in war crimes. Richo, was this the bad thing to do from the minister? Wasn't real smart. Um, he's a friend of mine, and, and I wish I didn't have to say it, but uh, not good. And uh, he ought to get up apologise and get out of this quickly. That's what my old man always said. If you've stuffed it up, get out quick, he used to say. Well, Ed, get out quick.